Before you begin, please make sure you have the following items. To remove the top cover of the strip, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four screws on the side of the camera. The strip should be positioned about four feet from the floor. Using the height strip itself, mark and drill the necessary pilot holes in the wall by the doorway that is being monitored. If you are passing your cables through the wall, be sure to align the hole in the back of the height strip before mounting the camera feed so that the necessary cables may be passed through. Otherwise, use a metal clipping tool to cut out either of the two knockout plugs located at the top or bottom of the height strip to make way for a half inch NTP pipe. After making all the necessary pilot and cable guide holes, Mount the height strip to the wall or door frame with the included screws and drywall anchors. Next, attach the camera's motherboard to the height strip to one of the three locations. This will determine where the camera lens will be in the height strip. Secure the motherboard to the height strip using the two screws on the top and bottom of the motherboard. If you are using a PoE switch or PoE injector, Pass the cable through the wiring guide holes and connect it to the camera's motherboard. If you are not using a PoE switch or PoE injector, you will also need to connect a DC 12 volt power adapter. To adjust the viewing angle of the camera, use the included hexagonal wrench to loosen the screw next to the camera lens. Gently tilt the camera left or right to position the lens as needed, then retighten the screws once the adjustment has been completed. Replace the top cover back onto the strip cover and reaffix the screws to the side of the case to secure it in place. In addition to physically mounting the camera, configuring the camera's IP address and applying an administrator password is necessary to complete the setup process. For easier setup, we recommend you using the DW IP Finder application software to manage your camera. The remainder of this QSG will teach you how to use it. To install DWIP Finder, go to our website digital-watchdog.com and search for DWIP Finder. Navigate to the DWIP Finder product page and scroll down to the download section. DWIP Finder is available for Windows and Linux computers only. Click the download button for the version that matches your computer's OS and use the installation wizard to install the program. Open DW IP Finder and select the network card that's connected to the camera network. Click scan devices to allow the program to find your camera. Once your device has been detected, you'll need to set a custom password. If you are setting up multiple cameras, you can configure the login to them simultaneously. To do this, click the checkbox to select a camera, then click the Bulk Password Assign button. In the Current Account section, enter the current login credentials for the camera. The default login for new cameras is Admin Admin. For the new password fields, enter your desired password and re-enter it again in the confirmation box. If needed, you can create a password hint. Click the Change button to apply your changes. To configure settings within the camera itself, you can use a web browser and enter the camera's IP address to connect to the camera's web interface. Otherwise, you can access your camera settings using DWIP Finder. After discovering the camera, click on the button that appears in the Settings column, then click the Website button. Your default web browser will open and automatically begin to connect with the camera. Log in with your camera's credentials to access an expanded list of settings within the camera and to view live camera video using the Web Viewer feature. This completes the installation of your new security camera. Thank you for choosing Digital Watchdog as your security solution.